Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Barbaris. With the release of Windows Server 2025 on the first of this month, I decided that I would update our Microsoft Deployment Toolkit Lab video series and make a new one for 2025. Now, we're going to be using the newest ADK, 10.1.26100.1 from May of 2024 for Windows 11 24H2. We'll add the Windows PE add-on. We'll use MDT8456 with the KB456442 fix. The domain controller will be running Windows Server Core 2025, so no GUI there. The network gateway also. So this is going to be a lightweight lab. And then our deployment server will be running Windows Server 2025 standard with a GUI. We're going to be using the Chocolati Package Manager for application deployment. And then we'll deploy a Windows 11 Enterprise and Windows Server 2025 standard machine. Now, I would suggest that on your fastest drive, you place a virtual machines folder. In my case, that's my F drive. So I'm going to go in here. Right click, new folder, and I'll just call this virtual machines. Okay. I'm going to be using VMware Workstation as usual, but you can use whichever hypervisor you'd like. Okay. In the description text of this video, you'll find the Lab01 Windows Server Core 2025 template text file on my OneDrive. So, First things first, we're going to grab our ISO for Windows Server 2025. So just hold down Control and click the link. It'll open up the site. You're going to choose your language. I'm going to choose English. Save as. And we're going to save that to our fast drive as well. So let's go to our F drive and save there. Give that a few moments to start, and I'll be back when that's ready. Okay, and that's downloaded, so we can close this window. Now, in September, VMware, or I should say Broadcom now, as they acquired VMware, released 17.6, uh, which supported 2025. They also released a new update for that, 17.6.1. So if you need VMware Workstation, the newest version, you can control click on this link Go down all the way to the bottom. You'll see 17.6.1 or greater if you're seeing this in the future. Click on the link here, your operating system, core, and you can download this exe tar file. You can extract that using something like 7-zip and then install that. Okay. Now I've opened VMware Workstation and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a few of the preferences I like to use. So we'll go to Edit, Preferences. Now, of course, that default location for virtual machines, we're going to change that to our F drive and to that folder we created, Virtual Machines. There we go. That way, each new virtual machine gets created on the fastest drive. All right? Now, we're going to also enable all shared folders by default, which is right here. Click that box. Go to the Display tab here. Now you can choose your color theme. I like to use dark theme, but you can use whichever one you like. Okay. And then in graphics, <clears throat> excuse me, allow hardware acceleration for all virtual machine consoles. Check that box. Go to updates, which here, check for product updates on startup, check for software components as needed, and automatically update VMware tools on a virtual machine. Click OK and we're good to go. Okay. Now, we're going to click here in the library area. I'm going to say new folder and I'm going to type lab and press enter. Okay? Now we're going to create our first virtual machine, okay? We're starting right here. So, go to file, new virtual machine, custom, advanced, next. In the hardware drop-down, go ahead and select the newest one. Next. Okay? I will install the operating system later. There we go. You're going to choose Microsoft Windows, and in the drop down, you'll use Windows Server 2025. Next. I'm going to call this DC01 for domain controller. Next. UEFI secure boot. Next. We're going to leave this at one processor and one core. We'll leave this at 2048 
megabytes or two gigabytes. And what we'll do is we'll install it and then we'll move it back to one gigabyte. Now the minimum required for a Windows Server Core 2025 server is 800 megabytes to install and 512 to run. So we're going to leave it at one gig after we've installed it and I'll show you that later. Next, use network address translation or NAT next. We're gonna use the recommended IO controller type, the recommended drive type, whatever that is on yours, create a new virtual disk, and we're gonna give it 48 gigabytes. Now the minimum required for server core is 32. We're just gonna add 16 to that and we'll be good. We're gonna store this virtual disk as a single file. Next, okay. You can leave this at default, next. Now we're gonna click on customize hardware. Okay, we're right here, in case you're following along on that. So on new CD DVD drive, use ISO image file, browse, and there's our fast drive, our F drive. We're gonna select that ISO we downloaded, next. On our network lab adapter, we're gonna click here, okay? Under LAN segments, we're gonna click add, we're gonna type lab, press enter, and okay. Now on the drop down, you're gonna select lab. Okay. Under display, we're just gonna uncheck the automatically adjust user interface size in the virtual machines. Close and finish. We're gonna right click here under settings, go to the options tab. If you're following along, we're right here. Okay, we're gonna to go to access control, click encrypt. Now you can give it whatever password you'd like. I've Place the password here. So control C to copy, control V to paste, encrypt, go to the hardware tab, add and a TPM. Click finish, okay. Now we're gonna drag this to the lab folder and we're good. Now we're gonna power it on. Here we go. Click on the screen, press the space bar. You can press control and alt and then you can close this pop up here. Okay. And here we are, line 147. We're gonna select our language, select our time and currency format. Next, keyboard or input method. I agree, install Windows Server, next. Here we go. We're gonna leave it at Windows Server 2025 standard evaluation, no desktop experience. Next, accept. Searching for disk, it's gonna show us our 48 gig drive we just created, next. And here we are, ready to install, and click install. And I'll be back when it's at the pop-up for the user's password must be changed before signing in. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back, here we are. So we're on line 163. We're gonna press enter here. We're gonna type a new password. Tab. And press enter. Oh, there we go. And your password has been changed. Okay, give that a moment. Okay, at this screen, I'm gonna press my numlock key so that I can use my number pad. I'm gonna type one for required, okay? It's gonna open up sconfig. I'm gonna type 15 to exit to the command line or PowerShell. Set sconfig auto launch to false, there we go. Now I'm gonna go over here and right click on DC01. I'm gonna click Install VMware Tools. I'll close this pop-up. Now we're right over here. So we're gonna set location, path to the D drive, dot backslash. Oop, I, did, I pressed enter on accident there. That's okay. Setup, and you can type tab twice, press enter, and minimize this window. 
There we go. Give that a moment. Okay. Right here. Next. Typical. Next. Install. Okay, there we go. And finish. Yes. And we'll come back when it's at the logon screen. All right, here we go. Now in a virtual machine, instead of pressing control alt delete, we press control alt insert. There we go. That way it doesn't affect the host operating system. Put in your password. There we go. And now because we've set sconfig for false auto launch, we'll be right into the PowerShell. We're gonna type time date .cpl. There we go. Now we're gonna click change our time zone. So change it to your time zone, whatever's appropriate, click okay. Now you'll want it to match. And because we just got into that daylight savings time, which my area doesn't do, I'm gonna click change date and time and match the hour to your time zone. There we go. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a timeout countdown of 90 seconds, just to let everything load, whether that be services or the networking um, adapter. So give that a, a few and I'll come back in 80 seconds. Okay, and we're back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our network connection to private so that we can do sharing. We're gonna remove the evaluation to upgrade our server to data center core, okay? We're using a KMS key. Now what you can do is you can say KMS keys in Google. It'll open up the key management services, client activation and product keys. You can see our KMS keys are here. Here's 2025. 2022, 2019, 2016, and down here are our clients. So Windows 11 Pro, Windows 11 Enterprise, if you ever need those KMS keys. Now we're gonna also install the BitLocker feature and the management tools for that. We're gonna set auto end tasks for our current user. Um, we'll do that in our virtual machines because sometimes I've noticed just with 2025 and it may be a bug that Broadcom is working through that sometimes it doesn't stop all the services. So we're going to do that and then stop computer for us. If you're running this on a physical machine or in virtual box or some other hyper, maybe hyper V, you might not need to do this. Okay. But it doesn't hurt. So I'm going to copy from 238 up to 227, right click, copy. And since we've already installed our VMware tools, if we paste that, it'll come right up, okay? So once this is done, it's gonna, it's gonna shut down the machine and I'll come back when that's ready. Okay, and the machine has shut down. So now what we'll do is we'll right click, click on settings. We're gonna go to our network adapter. We're gonna move this up to NAT so that we can get on the internet. Click OK and power it back on. Okay. Wait for our logon screen. Here we go. Of course, this is going to have updates are underway because it removed the uh, evaluation. And there we are. We're at the logon. So control alt insert again. There we go. Log in. And now that we're on the internet, what we'll do is we'll go sconfig to start up the, and now you can see here, welcome to Windows Server 2025 data center. So it's upgraded that, just verify. Okay, we're going to go to install updates. So six, we're gonna do all quality updates, one. It's gonna search for all applicable updates. Give that a moment and I'll be right back when it's at the question screen. Okay, and we're back and here we go. 
install all updates, no updates, or a single update. So we'll just say all for or A, press enter. You'll see downloading updates, and then it'll say installing updates, and then restart now. So we're going to come back when it's at the restart now portion, and I'll see you then. Okay, and here we are. We're back. So let's restart now. Okay, and then let those uh, updates roll out, and we'll come back at the log on screen. Okay, and here we are. So we're just going to log in, make sure everything is good to go. We'll stop the machine. We'll set our RAM back to 1024. We'll remove the CD drive, set our LAN segment in our network adapter, and then we'll be good for the next video. So here we go. Stop dash computer. If you're following along, we're down here. Right click settings, memory. 1024, CD DVD remove, our network adapter, which we're on right now, click LAN segment, go to our lab, click OK, and that's it for video one. I'll see you in the next one.